The Scottish Women's Premier League, also known as the SWPL, is implementing a competition restructure for the 2025-26 season. At present, the SWPL contains 12 clubs and SWPL2 contains 8. This change will see both the SWPL and SWPL2 operate with 10 team leagues from season 2025-26 onwards. In this video, we will explain the data behind the restructure, the feedback from our clubs, why this restructure is necessary and how the changes will be implemented. So, what are our clubs telling us and what does the data show us? Feedback from many of the SWPL's member clubs is that there are too many games. Based on research, the data showed us that the SWPL had the second highest number of games across the world leagues and the highest number of domestic matches in Europe. The impact of this is felt by all, but even more so on clubs and players who play internationally within the UEFA Women's Champions League and or those who reach the latter stages of domestic competitions. We currently have a number of midweek matches across the season, which has allowed us to maintain a winter break for both the SWPL and SWPL2, as well as to manage postponements promptly. However, for a number of reasons, they remain a challenge for the majority of SWPL clubs. We also track attendances and know that it appears to be harder for fans to get along to midweek fixtures. We noted the club feedback that keeping midweek matches to a minimum was preferable. The feedback we received from SWPL2 member clubs was that while the number of games was about right, the current format was too repetitive. At present, each club in SWPL2 plays the other seven clubs four times each. They saw the excitement caused by the split in the SWPL and fed back their desire to introduce this, as well as increase the variety in the fixtures. The SWPL2 is very competitive and clubs participating told us that they would like to see an extended playoff system. This would provide more clubs with the opportunity to reach the playoffs and ensure that every game matters until the final league match of the season. As part of our research, the data told us that pre-split, the first 22 games of the season, the SWPL is not as competitive as we would like. The number of matches with a goal differential of three and five goals is significantly higher compared to the European average. The data, however, showed that post-split, the SWPL becomes one of the most competitive leagues in Europe, with fewer games won by three or more goals compared to the European average. SWPL clubs also remain in support of the split, where clubs play an equal number of home and away matches. So why is the restructure necessary? And why now? The SWPL prides itself on listening to clubs and developing the elite women's game in Scotland alongside them, thinking innovatively and acting proactively to drive the game forward. Club feedback has shaped the SWPL progress on this restructure with months of consultation alongside the SWPL board, competitions working group and the Scottish FA. SWPL clubs understood the need for a restructure and we worked together to find solutions to the feedback and challenges observed. On the horizon, there will be increased participation at European and international levels, which will put additional demands on leagues, clubs and players through a more congested fixture calendar. From season 2025 to 26, a second UEFA competition will be introduced, likely resulting in more matches for SWPL clubs. FIFA will also be expanding the international windows, resulting in less availability in the calendar for domestic matches. Maintaining the current structure, in light of these imminent changes, is simply not viable. It would put an unnecessary strain on both clubs and players, which ultimately would have a detrimental impact on our game. So how will these changes be implemented? As outlined at the start, the 2025-26 season will see a 10-team SWPL and a 10-team SWPL2. But for this to happen, there will be a number of changes to the promotion and relegation places for the 2024-25 season. During season 2024-25, 12 teams will participate in the SWPL as normal, and the competition will follow its usual format, splitting after 22 matches into a top and bottom six. The bottom three clubs at the end of the season, in positions 10, 11 and 12, will be automatically relegated to SWPL2. However, given the number of teams being relegated, there will be no playoff final between the SWPL and SWPL2 side in 2024-25.
In the SWPL2, eight teams will participate in the 2024-25 season with automatic promotion and relegation remaining the same. The club finishing as champions will be promoted and the club finishing bottom will be relegated to the SWF Championship. The club finishing 7th in SWPL2 will face the SWF club who finishes runner-up in the SWF Championship in the playoff final. These changes will result in a 10-team SWPL and a 10-team SWPL2 for the 2025-26 season. So what will the SWPL look like from 2025-26 onwards? Firstly, the excitement of the split will remain in the SWPL, but also be introduced into the SWPL2. Both the SWPL and SWPL2 will follow the same league structure, with the only difference being the playoff format in each league. After all teams have played each other twice, home and away, the leagues will split into a top six and bottom four. The clubs will then play each other a further two times, both home and away. The teams finishing bottom of both leagues will be automatically relegated, with teams finishing second from bottom participating in the relevant playoff final. In SWPL2, an expanded playoff system will also be introduced. The club finishing in positions three and four will play each other, with the winner of that match progressing to face the club finishing in position two. The winner of that match will then participate in the SWPL playoff final against the SWPL club finishing in position nine. All matches will be one-legged with the final being played at a neutral venue. In the SWPL, the number of league games is reduced from 32 down to a maximum of 28 and reduces to 24 for those in the bottom four. In SWPL 2, the number of games remains at 28 for those finishing in the top six and reduces to 24 for those in the bottom four. In conclusion, this restructure aims to ensure greater league competitiveness, which is in line or ahead of European averages, reduce the number of fixtures for clubs in light of the data and feedback illustrating that we play more games than every other European nation, reduce the loading on existing players and make the SWPL a more attractive proposition for incoming players. Increases the variety of games in the SWPL too. Introduces an extended playoff system, providing more opportunities for clubs to participate in those exciting end of season matches. Create a more competitive environment for clubs to develop young players. We are excited by these changes and believe they continue to build the positive momentum of the elite women's game in Scotland. We can't wait for more SWPL action in 2024, 25 and beyond.